America, I've given you all, and now I'm nothing. America, $2.27, January 17th, 1956. I can't stand my own mind. America, when will we end the human war? Go fuck yourself with your atom bomb. I don't feel good. Don't bother me. I won't write my poem till I'm in my right mind. America, when will you be angelic? When will you take off your clothes? When will you look at yourself through the grave? When will you be worthy of your million Trotskyites? America, why are your libraries full of tears? America, when will you send your eggs to India? I'm sick of your insane demands. When can I go into the supermarket and buy what I need with my good looks? America, after all, it is you and I who are perfect, not the next world. Your machinery is too much for me. You made me want to be a saint. There must be some other way to settle this argument. Burroughs is in Tangiers. I don't think he'll come back. It's sinister. Are you being sinister? Or is this some form of practical joke? I'm trying to come to the point. I refuse to give up my obsession. America, stop pushing. I know what I'm doing. America, the plum blossoms are falling. I haven't read the newspapers for months. Every day, somebody goes on trial for murder. America, I feel sentimental about the Wobblies. America, I used to be a communist when I was a kid. I'm not sorry. I smoke marijuana every chance I get. I sit in my house for days on end and stare at the roses in the closet. When I go to Chinatown, I get drunk and never get laid. My mind is made up. There's going to be trouble. You should have seen me reading Marx. My psychoanalyst thinks I'm perfectly right. I won't say the Lord's Prayer. I have mystical visions and cosmic vibrations. America, I still haven't told you what you did to Uncle Max after he came over from Russia. I'm addressing you! Are you going to let your emotional life be run by Time Magazine? I'm obsessed by Time Magazine. I read it every week. Its cover stares at me every time I slink past the corner candy store. I read it in the basement of the Berkeley Public Library. It's always telling me about responsibility. Businessmen are serious. Movie producers are serious. Everybody's serious but me. It occurs to me that I am America. I'm talking to myself again. Asia is rising against me. I haven't got a Chinaman's chance. I'd better consider my national resources. My national resources consist of two joints of marijuana, millions of genitals, an unpublishable private literature that jet planes 1,400 miles an hour, and 25,000 mental institutions. I say nothing about my prisons or the millions of underprivileged who live in my flower pots under the light of 500 suns. I have abolished the whorehouses of France. Tangiers is the next to go. My ambition is to be president, despite the fact that I'm a Catholic. America, how can I write a holy litany in your silly mood? I will continue like Henry Ford. My strophes are as individual as his automobiles, more so. They're all different sexes. America, I will sell you strophies, $2,500 a piece, $500 down on your old strophy. America, free Tom Mooney. America, save the Spanish loyalists. America, Sacco and Vanzetti must not die. America, I am the Scottsboro Boys. America, when I was seven, Mama took me to communist cell meetings. They sold us garbanzos, a handful per ticket. A ticket costs a nickel, and the speeches were free. Everybody was angelic and sentimental about the workers. It was all so sincere. You have no idea what a good thing the party was in 1835. 
Scott Nearing was a grand old man, a real mensch. Mother Bloor, the silk strikers, Ewick Weiblick, made me cry. I once saw the Yiddish order Israel Amter plain. Everybody must have been a spy. America, you don't really want to go to war. America, it's them bad Russians. Them Russians, them Russians, and them Chinamen, and them Russians. The Russia wants to eat us alive. The Russia's power mad. She wants to take our cars from out our garages. Her wants grab Chicago. Her needs a Red Reader's Digest. Her wants our auto plants in Siberia. Him big bureaucracy running our filling stations. That no good. Uh, him make Indians learn read. Him need big black niggers. Ha! Her make us all work 16 hours hours a day. Help. America. This is quite serious. America. This is the impression I get from looking in the television set. America. Is this correct? I'd better get right down to the job. It's true. I don't want to join the army or turn lathes in precision parts factories. I'm nearsighted and psychopathic anyway. America. I'm putting my queer shoulder to the wheel.